Hi everyone, I hope you all are having a great day to start off the new year. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to stay informed on new content. I have been busier than I'd like to be for the holidays, so I haven't been able to get all my projects done on time, and in fact I have a very big one in the works, which is around a 30 to 45 minute video that I have to delay since I said it would be ready by New Year's 2023, and I'm not that close to being done yet though I still plan on having it done at some point in January 2023, so if you're subscribed, you'll be notified on when that video drops. With that said, let's cut right to the chase. How on earth does Freeplay work? Well, there are multiple videos out on this subject already, but these are out of date since they have changed the ramping in this game from those videos, plus they don't go into as much detail as this video will. Since August, Freeplay has gained some interest in the BTD6 modding community, and for the record, I'd say that round 429,562 video that I did in November has some part to do with it. But long before the advanced challenge that made this possible, there has been some development to figure out what happened in the round generator, and at first it seemed straightforward. However, I kept running into some parts that seemed to disagree with the research that we've done over time. I'll give Hemi credit for the tool that allowed me to do an internal investigation to see what balloons would spawn in any given round, as well as the previous video on how freeplay works. You can find their channel in the description. So let's get to the basics. After round 80, all balloons, except boss balloons, gain extra speed each round, and all blimps additionally gain extra health. Ceramics only spawn one of each child at this point in the game, but they have 60 health, still keeping the double health for their fortified counterpart. The blimp health starts off slow, but gradually gets larger as you reach higher rounds. From rounds 81 to 100, Blimps gain 2% of their original health per round. From rounds 101 to 124, this value increases to 5% of their original health per round. From rounds 125 to 150, this value again increases to 15% of their original health per round. From rounds 151 to 250, blimps gain 35% of their original health per round. From rounds 251 to 300, Blimps gain their original health per round. From rounds 301 to 400, blimps gain 1.5 times their original health per round. From rounds 401 to 500, blimps gain 2.5 times their original health per round. And from round 501 onwards, blimps gain 5 times their original health per round. Balloon ramping is also slow, although there are a few sudden jumps that happen at certain rounds, but beyond that, the speed increase is constant throughout at 2% per round. The jumps occur every 50 rounds starting at 101, and the last one happening at 251. This information can also be found on Topper's website, which I will also provide that link in the description. Tower and profile XP continues to increase until round 366, where the amount caps at 30,000, which would become 3,000 because of the XP cut in freeplay. Hero XP remains unaffected by XP cuts in freeplay and bypasses this limit, and I actually have a video showcasing this. There are other forms of ramping too, such as balloons being stunned for less time. They get stunned for only 75% of the original time starting on round 300, and 50% of the time starting on round 350. Now onto the round generator itself. It was more complicated than I expected it to be, and there's still some missing parts to it, but this is as complete as it will ever be. Every round has an RBE budget, and each round has a set of groups to pick from until there are no more that can fit the remaining RBE or all the groups have been picked. Each group has an equal chance of occurring, although the smaller RBE groups tend to have a higher weight because they will be picked more frequently. As an example, I'll use a hypothetical round that has a 100k RBE budget and with the following groups. Suppose one of the 50k RBE ones gets picked as the first group. All the different RBE groups can still be picked, but now only one 50k RBE group remains. Then, a 30k RBE group gets picked. Now only the 20k and 10k RBE groups can be picked next. If the 10k RBE group is chosen, then no more groups are able to spawn since there is only one of these groups available, even if there is RBE remaining. The RBE budget for any given round, past the first one, is anywhere from 100% to 200% of its base value, up to an extent. The extent part of this is unknown, because as it turns out after a certain point, the number of groups becomes the problem. Also, it's worth mentioning that even though a bad can be a group that spawns in free play, the RBE value of that group isn't always the actual value. Each group has a score value, 
which can be changed to represent the RBE of that particular group. Normally, it is set to zero, which means it uses the default amount. When it comes to guaranteed bad spawns, as they are referred to as such in the code, the score is set to either one or two. Now, just because a spawn is a guaranteed bad spawn doesn't mean it has to spawn, contrary to what has been said in the previous videos. At round 584, the RBE budget is pretty much null since at this round all of the available bloom groups can spawn with the lowest possible value, but even still, not all of them spawn because the bloom groups that are selected are capped below the total amount. But one thing is for certain, once all the bloom groups that can spawn do spawn, then every round after that is going to have those same groups, and that will happen at approximately round 1300 at the latest. What you're seeing here is the worst case scenario in terms of RBE that I discovered for free play. Getting around 263 that isn't group capped is exceptionally rare, as this was the only case that I have discovered after an odd 50 runs. You are much more likely to see around 163 get group capped. Much like round 263, 163 can't be RBE capped either. Here are a couple charts showing the RBE base budget of the first 99 rounds and another for rounds 101 to 199. Apocalypse, ABR, and Normal Freeplay use the same round generator, with the only difference being the round that they start using it. I'll conclude this video with a slideshow of all the spawns throughout Freeplay mode. I hope this video helps with your future Freeplay endeavors. Wow.